What's up guys and gals? Welcome back to Flatirons Tuning. Here's another product showcase for you guys. This week I wanted to talk to you about some products we get a ton of questions about and there's a lot of different options on the market and that's oil pans. So you know we've got everything from stock pans to RCM modified stock pans to aftermarket high level pans to you know even dry sump pans like the RCM billet dry sump which completely replaces your oil pan with a new oil pump. Um, there's a lot of different options, a lot of different ways you can go in the market. So I just wanted to clarify some details, talk about when you might want different pans and what you might want to do to you know, help your car stay safe. So yeah, many people, they recommend upgrading your pan, your pickup, your baffles on any EJ car. But I think it's important to remember that for a stock car, you know, a stock pan and stock pickup can still be just fine. Um, but it is important to keep in mind cars that see high G loads or cars that are tracked regularly where you might be you know, using a lot of oil potentially if you're always in boost. Um, you want to think about having extra capacity, think about having some extra baffling to keep the oil in the pan. Um, just because of the flat nature of the motors and the way the pan sits directly under the crank, um, you really can run into some issues where under high G loads you get oil sloshing up out of the pan into the heads um, and can cause some issues with the PCB system and blow by. So it's important to you know, keep in mind like when you need your baffles, um, when you might just want maybe an upgraded pickup for a stock car, and you know, when maybe you know, if you're just daily driving this thing, you probably don't even need to worry about anything beyond just a stock pickup. So the next step up from our OEM pan kits would be like the Roger Clark baffled sumps. These come with the stock pan but modified by Roger Clark for their custom baffled insert. These, they've got the rubber stoppers that you look for in a lot of like the higher level competition pans, but they still come with stock fitment. It's a modified stock pickup that has Roger Clark's anti-surge adapter. So it's really trying to get the pickup as low as possible in the pan, make sure that the oil stays around the pickup, and it's gonna have the best fitment for many different varieties of car. They've got like the STI style pan, a twin scroll, and a two liter pan with these custom baffled inserts. So definitely a lot of options on the market there from Roger Clark. Another great option in our aftermarket lineup of pans would be the Killer Bee. They've got everything from their basic cast pan, which has just a stock style insert without the rubber baffles, to the Super G pan combo like this one, which comes with an upgraded pickup, an upgraded windage tray, and baffles with the rubber stoppers in the sump. So it's got a lot of the same features that Roger Clark does, but with a bigger cast pan with additional capacity and an additional bun for sensors. Um, really great option on the market. So definitely check out Killer Bee's lineup. They've got everything from like a step above street all the way to competition um, and you can upgrade with different options. Another great option in our lineup of pans are the IAG pans. They are a cast pan like the Killer Bee unit. Um, they've got some unique features though, like the O-ring to seal the pan and the top. Um, typically it's just an RTV seal in most, but IAG opted to include an O-ring as well to make it a little easier to replace and reseal these guys. Um, some of the sweet features of the IAG would be like cooling fins on the bottom. They also include extra bungs for sensors and they do include options to upgrade. So there's like a path where you can start with the Street Series. If you decide that baffle isn't good enough for you and you want to go to like the rubber baffle of like the next level beyond this one, um, it's a great way to go because you can just buy that baffle and pick up to put in, you know, to replace the baffle that's in your Street Series pan, bring it up to that competition pan level, and it's a great, you know, choice for everybody, basically. Thanks for joining us for another week of product features. As always, we love hearing about the stuff that you like to see, so if you see any new pans on the market you want us to feature or any other products, let us know. Make sure to check in on all of our socials on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and make sure to sign up for our newsletter too. So, you know, as always, stay tuned with Flatirons Tuning and have a good one.